This is David Miller with the Miller Group of Keller Williams Realty and the new local real estate stats just came out for Orlando and I wanted to spend a minute to interpret that data for you. If you've been listening to the news networks, the big piece of uh, data that came out is that for the first time since 2011 and after 93 consecutive months of the medium price appreciating, it dropped. Oh my goodness, what are we going to do? The sky's falling. Hold your shorts there. That's not the case. If we look behind the numbers, remember the medium price is the medium price for single family homes, condos, townhomes, duplexes, everything. And if we look behind the numbers, what we're saying is that condo sales are up 19% versus the same time last year. Obviously, condo sales are going to be price range and a lot lower compared to single family homes. So what we're seeing is that there's more lower price properties that are selling compared to the higher price properties. And the main reason is the inventory. Inventory compared to this time last year is up only about 2%. But I'll tell you that it is still extremely very low. If you remember anything below six months of inventory is considered a seller's market because there's a lot more buyers in the market than sellers. What we're finding right now, the total inventory of homes within Metro Orlando is we're at 2.38 months of inventory. So it really depends on what price range you look at uh, to see if you are in a buyer's or seller's market. Anything below 300, 350, those properties are moving fairly quickly because there's a lot more demand for those properties. But if we scale up to the over a million dollars, it's actually a different type of market where there actually is, are more sellers than buyers, so it's actually considered a buyer's market. So it's a bit unique. So if you are thinking about selling your house, this is the best time to do it. School is about to come out in a couple weeks, and that's when most families are looking to purchase properties. So get your house on the market. You're going to have the leverage to get the best price in the best terms. Now, if you're a buyer, what does this mean to you? Well, this doesn't mean you give up and you put your hands up and you rent for another year. This means you got to make sure you do a good job on that you're working with the right realtor that knows the market better than anybody else and can ideally find those properties before they hit the market. Because if you can find a property and a home before it hits the market and before the other 14,000 realtors and buyers find out about it, wouldn't you agree with me that that gives you a leg up on the competition? Absolutely. So that's my interpretation of what's going on in the market. If myself or any member of my team can help you with your real estate needs, please let us know. We'd be honored to do so. Hope you have a great week. Hope you have a great Memorial weekend next weekend. Take care.